Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Speed is at a premium in the Sun Belt Conference, and these two teams look like they're ready to hit high gear and go head to head. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Power from the nine. And he's tackled at the 29. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Caldwell's big playability makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. Caldwell's the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. They make the stop right around the 36-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. He got right in there and popped the ball carrier. This senior just doesn't back down from anyone. To that quickly and down he goes right around the 40. that's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive out and they'll be looking for six points here To him again, complete, and he's taken down right around the two yard line. That brings up second and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. And they're in. Touchdown. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He makes the PAT. 
a seven-play, 40-yard drive, and they put up seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So the score now, 31-28. Tackle at the 44-yard line. And for Caldwell, putting up good numbers. Well, he has, Brad. And also, you can see that extra gear that he has when he gets out into the open field, which allows him to come up with the big plays. And this is just power running football weather. Old school, roll up your sleeves and find out who the toughest guy is. And those guys up front on the offensive line are having the best time of their lives. He's helped to put his team in a winning position. So let's see if he can keep that up or if the defense can contain him here. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. We have less than a minute to go. Brought down at about the 41. The Raging Cajuns will use their first time out of the half. From the 41-yard line, it's second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. The Raging Cajuns are going to call their second timeout. Raging Cajuns using their third and last timeout. From the 33-yard line, first down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback, take a knee. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Red, red 18! Red 18! The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Caldwell's performance today, right now, Kirk, the nation is watching, and uh, they're pretty impressed with what they saw. Yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of people are going to see the kind of numbers that he put up today. And more importantly, I think his team's going to be able to continue to build their offense around him and his attributes of what he brings to this offense. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.